This is Toshiba 64. Powering everything is an old Toshiba Tecra with a Core 2 Duo P8700 NVIDIA Quadro MVS 150M with 256MB of DDR2 VRAM and 1GB of RAM. The image is outputted through VGA to a CRT monitor at 60Hz with a resolution of 1024 by 768 for audio, I have the same Logitech speakers from my sound system, and for the controller, I am using two DualShock 4s. But what's even the point of all this? What does it do? I set up all of this to play Nintendo 64 games from the comfort of my bed. But why not just buy an N64? It's anywhere from 50 to 200 NZ dollars. The controllers aren't wireless. The games are anywhere from $30 to $100, and it outputs at a low resolution. And you could easily put one of these together too. All you need is a CRT, TV, or monitor if you're choosing, a computer or laptop with a Pentium 4, 1GB of RAM, GeForce 9000 series, Radeon HD 4000 series, or Intel HD graphics. Also, speakers of some kind, a Bluetooth adapter if needed, and a controller. All of this can easily be obtained for less than 50 NZ dollars, excluding a controller and speakers. And the games are free! But enough talk, let's play some games. Mario Kart 64 is an instant classic, despite never playing it when I was younger. It's so easy to pick up and play, but much harder to master. This one is best enjoyed against friends or family, and it's going to get heated. Super Smash Bros is confusing at first, but it becomes a rhythm over time. Again, another game good with friends. Smash is competitive and the music is excellent. Just listen to the character selected screen tunes. Excellent. Star Fox 64 is a fun arcade style shooter. Very linear but simple to play. Overall, it's a fun one. Banjo Kazooie is an intuitive, colourful, and overall fun platformer from Rare. The music is unique and upbeat, and the worlds are open with tons to explore. In fact, the intro music. So this video came from the intro to Banjo-Kazooie. Super Mario 64 is the reason I set up this whole system. The game is amazing, tons of open world maps, tons of stars to collect, while ambient or orchestral music fills your ears. Do not miss this masterpiece. So that's Toshiba 64. If you like what you see here, go try make one yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.